Hi everybody, it's Roundup time again. We're back with another 10 of the best science videos floating around out there on the internet. So let's get started, shall we? At number 10 this month, who knew chemistry could be so mesmerizing? This new microflow device is the size of a credit card, but can perform hundreds of experiments in just a few minutes. Each of these tiny blobs contains about a microliter of liquid, and they can be combined at the rate of three drops per second. This chip should be useful to test different drug combinations quickly and cheaply. Speaking of blobs, this is one of the oldest animal fossils ever found. It lived 425 million years ago, sported tentacles and a hood, and was most likely made of jelly. Soft-bodied creatures almost never fossilize, but this guy happened to die in an area covered by volcanic ash. A lucky break that's revealing the lifestyle of one of Earth's earliest animals. Number 8 takes us from a creature that once was, to creatures yet to be. These simulated artificial cells communicate with each other by exchanging nanoparticles. The red cells can cause green ones to follow them by laying a chemical trail. Here, two red cells cooperate with one another to move a large train of green cargo cells. Making real artificial cells like these is still a ways off, but these simulations show how they might be useful for manufacturing nano devices. At number 7, this is the world's smallest racetrack. Just 10 microns in diameter, the track is less than a quarter of the width of a human hair. The racers are nanoparticles propelled by laser light and can reach a speed of several hundred micrometers per second. The particles are brought to speed down a straight track and are diverted into the ring where optical forces keep them circling around. The technique could make it easier to manipulate tiny particles using light alone. Number 6 isn't exactly a video, but bear with me. That is the song of a blue whale. And that second part is almost exactly the same as a low C note on the piano. It turns out that blue whales off the coast of California sing this note with near perfect pitch, varying by less than a tenth of the distance between C and C sharp. Scientists think this perfect pitch could help the whales locate each other by using the Doppler effect the tendency for pitch to change when emitted from a moving source. We're halfway through, on to number five. This female fruit fly spins her male right round, like a record baby. She releases pheromones that vary according to how attractive she finds the male. If the pheromones say she's just not into it, the male eventually gets the message, learning not to court females, at least not for a couple hours. But if the pheromones say she's interested, the male keeps chasing, and chasing, and chasing until, well, you know. Climbing into the fourth spot this month, this robot mimics the swinging motion used by monkeys, gibbons, and human rock climbers. It shifts its weight and pivots around one of its two claws. This allows it to climb very efficiently. Here it climbs up an eight-foot wall in 15 seconds. Climbing robots like this could one day be used for surveillance or inspecting buildings. At number three, come with me on a journey deep, deep, deep into space. This is Supernova 1987A, located on the outskirts of the Tarantula Nebula. Scientists recently reconstructed its structure in 3D to study why the star exploded into such a strange shape. This artistic reconstruction shows the two outer rings and a deformed inner core. To create this weird shape, astronomers now think the blast must have been more powerful and more turbulent than originally thought. Number two, here's an explosion of a different sort. No one thinks of moss as particularly volatile, but being so low to the ground, it needs some way to spread its spores. This high-speed footage shows how it happens. Pressure in the capsule builds until the payload is launched skyward, but it goes higher than can be explained by the initial launch alone. What gives? A vortex forms during the explosion, propelling the spores high enough to be caught by air currents. Jellyfish use similar vortex currents to propel themselves efficiently, but this is the first time plants have been caught taking advantage of them. And now for the number one video. You can never have too many explosions. This one comes to us from our dear friend, the Sun. On August 1st, a tube of solar gas 50 times the size of Earth exploded, right in our general direction. The event was captured by a number of instruments, as these different views show. The charged particles made their way to Earth soon after, causing brilliant auroras in the night sky. 
This was a small one as far as eruptions on the sun go. A larger one happened just a week later. Scientists think this increase in activity is a sign that the sun is finally waking up from a longer than usual slumber. Well, we've reached the end again. That's it for this month's roundup. We'll be back next month, but in the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. If you've seen a cool science video online lately, or you just want to say hi, you can hit us up on Twitter, drop a comment on YouTube, or get in touch through our website. For New Scientist TV in San Francisco, I'm McGregor Campbell. Thanks for watching.